close it. Good. Watch your hands. Hello everyone, good morning. I am doing a lot of laundry today. See the giant massive pile behind me. I frequently still get questions about whether or not I still use the portable washer that I bought almost a year ago now. I hear pitter patter feet coming behind me. Hey. No! Okay, I guess you can have a little sip. No more, no more. Mommy? It's yummy. It's not for you, it's coffee. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say is yes, I still use and love the portable washer and dryer. It's not really a dryer, it's more like a salad spinner for clothes, but it kind of gets the job done. So the clothes aren't soaking when I hang them and they dry pretty quickly instead of smelling like mildew. And plus it makes my living room smell super fresh from the laundry detergent. So still love that, still recommend it. I will, I think I always have it linked in the description actually. So if you're interested, it's great for apartments. You don't need a washer and dryer hookup for it. And I have entire videos dedicated to me using it. And I think the unboxing for it as well. Just look back in my videos in May or I'll pull Try and link it down below if I can remember. What you doing? Can you say hi? Hi. Say good morning. 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 Say my. My. Name. Me. Is. He. Fival. Fival. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, me, he's purple. It's not water, it's coffee, and you're not supposed to have it. It's mostly creamer. Wow, Stella, you just got so much cooler. She's on a Tesla, too. So, Stella and I just had lunch and Fivel's napping. I also touched up the roots of my hair while he's sleeping and just noticed that I also may have stained the side of my face. So yeah, I'm about to rinse this off and we'll see if this comes off with it. Never mind, my hair is gonna have to wait because Fievel's awake and it's time for his lunch. So Stella had sausage and I had salmon, so Fievel's having leftovers, sausage and salmon. <laughs> staining off of the side of my face and I think turn, things turned out all right. I do have to redo my roots sometime real soon, but that's gonna have to wait. I honestly only put on this black dress for that three second transition you guys just saw for the hair drying. So I'm gonna put my pajamas back on. In case you didn't notice, we really don't have anything planned for today. I just wanted to pop in and say hi because I've missed you. I will definitely have a video up this weekend as well because I'm doing a Mother's Day special kind of video with Anna Luisa Jewelry. I love them and I'm so happy that they want to work with me again. So yeah, that video is going to be out on the 7th or 8th. It's probably going to have a lot of cute baby clips in it, meaning my babies, not any new babies. No, thank you. We've just been really busy this week because the first week of every month, Stella has her therapy appointments. So yesterday she had OT, nothing new to update you guys on. I think tomorrow she has physical therapy and then Friday she has speech. Speech is my favorite appointment for her and she seems to enjoy it the most, so I might have more to tell you guys about that appointment. Uh, but otherwise, it's just a super rainy week as well, and we haven't been doing much afterwards. We did groceries yesterday, which wasn't all that exciting. But the film, the clips that you did see that I filmed at the beginning of this video are all from those couple of days. I had my back turned for a second, and Fievel took all of the cushions off the back of the couch. Hey, back up. Back up, back up, back up. Thank you. Okay, guys, this is hilarious. What are these, Fievel? They're blah, blah, blah. What are these? What is that? No, don't take a bite of it. No, I'll give you one. I just wanted you to say it. Okay, Fievel, what is this? What is this? Banana? Is it good? This is what super lazy dinner looks like for tonight because even though Fievel just ate two entire bananas, he's still apparently starving. Happy? I 
I just think she's really cute, especially how she only eats one noodle at a time. Oh, you missed that one. An aggressive stabbing. Two, getting better. Broccoli. Did you say, do you want a puppy? Do you want this? Cat? Do you want this? Well, make up your mind. Do you want a puppy or a cat? <laughs> not both. Yeah. Actually, not either. Goat? You want a goat? We just got out of therapy and got home and Stella has passed out. Hey, psst, Stella. Stella, we're home. Stella. She's gonna be so crabby when I wake her up. Okay, we're home and a couple weird things are happening right now. For one, I'm eating leftover salmon and salad for breakfast. And two, Fifo keeps asking for bites of salmon, so. What do you think? You didn't like it yesterday. Okay, so I've sat in this Hobby Lobby parking lot for like 10 minutes now waiting for the lady who's parked next to me to move because I'm embarrassed to be vlogging next to this person. However, it doesn't look like she's gonna be moving anytime soon, but I'm at Hobby Lobby to pick up more crafts that I shouldn't be starting because there's so many crafts that I haven't finished yet. But it, actually, I'm here for resin molds. So a nice guy who's probably watching this got me flowers and I pressed one of the flowers and now I want to make it into a resin keychain and keep it forever. Is that too much? Probably. Anyway, that's what I'm here for. I also want to pick up a planner. I haven't had one in like a year because of the pandemic and I haven't had anything to do. Um, but now that we're actually going out places and I have a lot of appointments scheduled and lawyer stuff and whatever not, whatever what not. I don't know, I'm trying to film this fast because honestly I feel so awkward about the lady park next to me. Anyway, I want a planner and I think I want to start a journal, like a bullet journal again. I remember thinking that was really fun and I have a lot of planner stickers left over from my planner phase back in Texas. If you guys will remember, I had a sticker obsession for a while. I want to finally use those. But anyway, we're at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so back in the car, obviously we got more than I was looking for, but all of these summer kids activities were 40% off today. So I got this because when we go on picnics, sometimes we get bored and this seems like a fun outdoor activity. And hopefully this case like once you open it it comes back together so I can keep all of this together without losing any of the pins or anything but that looks super fun also I got these mini popsicles they're just like tiny little popsicles that we can make ourselves with whatever juice that we choose I thought that was a nice little fun summer thing I got a bullet journal like I said I was going to and then these keychain molds are perfect, except they don't come with the keychain part. So like, I think I actually have those at home, honestly, but this is gonna be the perfect shape for the pressed resin flower. I think these are gonna be awesome. Okay, the kids just went down for their naps. They're not quite sleeping, so if you hear them, that is why. But I'm gonna start my little craft and I'm gonna show you guys as I do it. Here's the molds. I think that the flower is gonna fit the best in this one. And I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and cut it out of the rest of them. There we go. And then I'm gonna pull the flower out of here. I cut it off of my plant over here about a week ago, I think, so it was right there. And then I cut it when it was full bloomed and then in this little critter book because it's actually the biggest book that we own. Unfortunately, I feel like that might be a little bit embarrassing that this is the biggest book that we own. But anyway, the little critter book, I took some parchment paper and then the flower and I pressed it like that. And that's gonna look so pretty. Here is my crafting scale. Uh, it's very messy, obviously, because I mainly use it for crafting. You have to measure resin and the hardener, the exact like one for one ratios or else it will not harden. So that's the kind that I use. I bought it on Amazon, but they do sell it at craft stores as well. It's also super dangerous to work with resin. So I'll be wearing gloves and putting on my face mask as well because it's super toxic and you do not want it on your skin. I'm also gonna be mixing it in one of the kids' old disposable take-and-go sippy cups, stirring it with a wooden popsicle stick, and then getting rid of the bubbles in the resin with my handy-dandy heat gun. All 
right, there is the finished product. I put a layer of resin, blasted the bubbles out of it, put the flower in the middle, and then poured more resin over it, and then blasted the bubbles. I think I'm gonna do it one more time because there's just a couple tiny little dots of bubbles there. Um, but it's kind of difficult to use this thing without blowing the flower around and I have it perfectly centered right now which is where I want it. So I might actually leave those tiny like three or four bubbles and just call it a day and then let this cure for 24 hours because Fievel just woke up. Okay, so it is a little while later. I actually fed the kids dinner, put them to bed. We had a teeth brushing party before that. Lots of fun, lots of macaroni, leftover noodles all over the floor. So I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up and finish editing the video you guys are currently watching. So I guess this is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual and I'll see you in the next one.